All right, so back in 1938, a chemist by the name of Albert Hoffman um, invented or discovered, however you want to term it, a compound called lysergic acid diethylamide. And he learned by accident that this uh, substance had a profound impact on um, the human body when taken in very small doses. And over time, over the past 75 years or so, uh, acid has gone through the gamut from being bastardized to being feared to being heralded, worshipped during the 60s and 70s to where it is um, today, which is under some, some pretty serious scrutiny and for good reason. Um, Microdosing of LSD is becoming very trendy now. And in fact, there are even TED Talks about this. And uh, so I felt comfortable coming out and sharing my experience with this um, substance and what microdosing can do for certain individuals. Now, before I go any further, I want to make it very clear that uh, this is not an endorsement of um, taking drugs, legal or illegal. Uh, I, I make these videos for harm reduction purposes and to spread awareness. I'm not necessarily um, glorifying or telling anyone to do anything uh, to treat any illness um, perceived or not. So hopefully that was enough legalese. But um, if, you, if you've been subscribed to me for longer than a few weeks, you know that I'm, I, I come at things pretty straightforward. I don't beat around the bush and if something appears to have value as a substance um, that can be used to um, help to stem the tide of depression, anxiety, and other mental illness, then I'm going to sit up and I'm going to take notice and I'm probably going to experiment it with it myself, which, you know, if you've looked at any of my videos in the past, you know, that's kind of my thing. It's kind of what I do. Um, in the case of LSD, um, I'm going to share with you some of my experience in the past of having uh, microdosed with this substance and what it did for me and uh, some of the side effects. And um, so I'll just get started with my own story. I discovered LSD when I was probably 17, um, took way too much of it at a party once and ended up having what is often called a bad trip. A very bad trip, um, the mentally scarring kind that turns you off from psychedelics for some people for their entire lives. Uh, however, curiosity uh, got the best of me later in life and about 20, 25 or 26, age 25 or 26, I decided to uh, experiment with LSD again. Um, after having one or two significant trips that were positive at the time of my life, um, around about the 30 year or 35 year old, when I, when I was a 35 year old, so here about five or six years ago, I decided to um, try my hand at microdosing with it. And so what I did was I, um, I took a single um, hit of acid, LSD, and dissolved it into 100 milliliters of distilled water. Um, not purified water or filtered water because those contain uh, trace mineral elements that can sometimes break down um, LSD prematurely. Um, so distilled water uh, in a small vial, right? You can get them, you can get vials pretty much anywhere, um, you know, hobby stores or even the, the food store if you just get a, uh, a bottle that's used to like food coloring bottles are great for this. Um, they're small and they have the, the measurements listed out right there on the bottom. If you clean one of those out and sanitize it, you can use that for your own little, um, your own little tincture. Anyway, I'm not, again, I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm telling you what I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna watch my language here. Um, and um, so yeah, I, I put the, the hit into the 100 milliliters um, and I then proceeded to take about two, two, excuse me, 20 milliliters a day, uh, just sipping it, right? So measuring out about 20 milliliters and then um, ingesting that, typically at the beginning of, of every day for about five days, right? So 20 milliliters every day for five days, um, that's taking a single dose and stepping it out over five days, right? So this was my approach to microdosing. Excuse me. The very first day I did this, um, 
I, I probably shouldn't have, I, I would later learn, because it was too steep of a jump, I, I, I think, because the effects were very pronounced. Um, I was agitated. I remember that day because I was at work, and I shouldn't have done that. I should not have started microdosing at work. That's a key piece of advice for you guys, okay? If you're going to do this, if you're, you know, if you're going to do this, again, harm reduction here. This is my thing with this video. Uh, educate yourself about the um, effects on this or th that this can have on you. And don't do this when you, you, you have other obligations. Or if you're going to try doing something like this, don't do it on a day that, um, you know, you've got some um, responsibility or obligation to someone or something. It's just not, it may not work out well for you. Um, but the next day and the day after, once things sort of um, tapered off, I'll, I'll say, my, 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 my body sort of responded the first day to the substance in a, in, a, in a kind of a radical form, like, wow, what is this? And my hands were shaky. I was, I was a little depersonalized at work. I was very euphoric and talkative and smiling a lot, which at the time wasn't very characteristic of me, at least at work, right? So people could probably tell that something wasn't quite off with Brett there. Uh, so, but like I said, second day, third day, fourth day, um, I was, I was a changed man. I mean, I'm talking about productivity wise, really, um, first and foremost, um, going from lacking motivation and getting tasks done to, um, you know, having energy for days, big time energy for days. It seemed like in the day, um, literally it was for days, it was for five days, but you get my point, right? So the energy was probably the, the most um, memorable of all the uh, effects that microdosing LSD had on, had for me. Um, you know, I, I, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you know that I struggled with anxiety and depression. Uh, and um, I actually look for ways to address those issues using, um, natural means if possible, but legal and over-the-counter means otherwise. In the case of LSD, microdosing it uh, did have a profound impact on my mood and my depression or lack thereof. By about the second or third day, um, and this was at a time in my life when things were very difficult, um, I was much more optimistic. That third and fourth and fifth day, after, and the only reason I stopped, by the way, is because I ran out, right? I didn't have any more LSD to take. Otherwise, I would have kept doing it. But as you know, this stuff is, you know, sharply illegal. So, um, you know, getting my hands on it wasn't so convenient. Um, but anyway, uh, huh. the next week when I went back to work after having, you know, stopped taking LSD, I, it, it just, everything seemed very dull. Everything seemed very boring. Um, I, it's not that I craved more LSD. It's not like I wanted more acid. I didn't feel like that I had a tolerance in that way, right? I mean, the, the drug wasn't calling me. It was just, I felt like um, I had been shown something a little, a little bit. Not a, I mean, This wasn't some grand revelation, but I was shown something small about the color in everyday life, the, the beauty in everyday life, even if it's working at a shit job, you know, behind a, a computer doing something for somebody else you don't, you don't care about, you're not passionate about, um, even that has, has, has a beauty in it. The struggle is beautiful in, in a way. And those five days of microdosing LSD uh, kind of taught me that. Um, or if it didn't teach it to me, it reminded me that there's, there, there are small beauties to be found in everyday life, even if that life um, could, could be said to be in suffering. Um, anyway, um, back to the point of microdosing LSD and whether or not it's something for you to try. Again, I'm not going to make any recommendations. I just think that if, um, if people are going to be talking about this, if people are going to be doing TED Talks, announcing the new trend in microdosing LSD, then I should feel comfortable um, sharing my story. And so there it is. Um, if you have your own story about microdosing with LSD or even just taking LSD, uh, good, bad, or otherwise, uh, put it in the comments below. You know, I, I try to foster, um, I try to foster conversations, um, instead of arguments <laughs> in my comment section. So hopefully you'll, uh, you'll appreciate that. Anyway, that's it for today. I uh, just want to drop this quick video on you guys. Hope you're doing well. Like, and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Brett Ballas coming at you next time. Till then, bye.